Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get this look that I just was playing around with one day and I decided this is the most perfect, easiest kind of smoky eye look that I'm going to be wearing for Rakhi this year. Um, I am debating amongst a couple of looks so maybe when I upload all of them you can tell me which one to wear but this is the first one that I came up with for Rakhi this year and I might be a little premature I'm not sure exactly when this is going up but um, I hope you like what you see so if you do just stay tuned and we'll start off in a moment. Okay you guys, let's start off with a little bit of eye primer. I'm using the Too Faced Shadow Insurance and I'm just applying it all over my eyelid all the way up to the brow bone. Next I'm going into my Heart Candy Natural Eyes Palette and using this matte brown shade. Alternatively, you can use the matte brown shade that comes in the Maybelline Nudes Palette or any matte brown shade. I applied this with a sponge tip applicator pretty close to the lash line but very messily it doesn't matter and then i took a blending brush and just kept blending it blending it blending it close to 10 minutes of course this clip has been fast forward but you really want to take your time in blending this because the entirety of the smokiness of any smoky eyeshadow look is in the blending so just forget about everything else and just keep blending 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 Next I'm going into a matte black eyeshadow, you can use any that you have and I'm just applying it to the outer V of my eyes. And again using the same brush, I'm blending it into the pre-existing eyeshadow. Over here also I took a long time to do it so don't be shy, just be patient and keep blending. The more you blend the better it's going to look. You can of course add more pigment when you like. I'm going back into the same matte eyeshadow again and taking it again on a smudge brush. I'm applying it to my lower lash line, not on the waterline but behind the lashes. Then I'm taking this shade, um, it's a matte bone color shade. It's appearing a little white here but it's very close to my skin tone and applying it to my brown bone. And that does it for all the eyeshadow. It's time to clean up a little bit of fallout. As you can see over here, I'm using um, a makeup wipe and then I'm going into my Sephora liquid liner. This is matte black and very pointy and I'm applying um, a winged eyeliner. I know that you guys can't see very well over here, it's just the camera angle was not the best. But if you want, I have an in-depth tutorial on how to apply winged eyeliner and I will link it as a card right now. You can just go and check that out. And now even the eyeliner look is done. Next up it's time to go into a nude kajal and I'm just using this one that I have from Wet n Wild. Maybelline makes one as well which is a little shiny and that will do the trick as well. We're done with the eyes for now. Let's move into priming our face. I'm using the Smashbox Photo Finish Eye Primer. It's a silicone based primer so it fills in my pores and it gives my oily skin a matte base for my foundation to apply on it. At this point I realized that I'm still in my night suit wala t-shirt so I just changed and I went into my True Match Lumi Foundation, Lumi Cushion Foundation by L'Oreal and I used a brush to do this. I initially used to use the sponge that came with it but I didn't enjoy it as much. I like using this buffing brush a little bit more so that's what I'm using. A Rakhi look is typically a daytime look at least for me so I'm using this foundation which is light coverage and luminous and pretty glowy. Of course blend your foundation down your neck, I always say that. And then it's time to conceal. I'm of course using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 20 Sand Sable. Just applying it under my eyes um, in an inverted triangle shape and I'm using the same buffing brush to just puff this into my skin as well. This foundation is a little too sheer for me so I'm going into my Maybelline Dream Satin Skin 2 Way Cake Powder foundation and I'm setting on top of my 
foundation with this it's add, going to add a little bit of coverage and it's going to lock the foundation in place so my oily skin won't just you know make it melt and completely disappear at the end of the day it's going to increase the longevity of the powder next i'm going into the elf contour powder and using this shade this is very close to my skin color but very yellow toned unfortunately the photo is not picking it up and i'm using this to set under my eyes next i'm going into these two shades together one is a little too cold toned and one is a little too warm toned but together they form a very good contour shade of course this is from the same elf contour palette and i'm using this to contour my cheekbones as you can see over here my jawline and my nose the brush that i'm using is the elf contour brush not the elf contour brush i'm sorry the real techniques contour brush next i'm going into the physician's formula shimmer strips in the shade vegas strip and i'm using a fan brush this is from forever 21 to highlight my cheekbones I'm also highlighting the bridge of my nose next up this is the wet n wild color icon ombre blush in the shade the princess daiquiris and I'm using a real techniques blush brush to apply this to the apples of my cheek cheeks both cheeks let's move on to a little bit of brows i'm just brushing them in place using an old empty mascara wand and then i'm using the maybelline fashion brow duo shaper in the shade brown just the pencil side and i'm filling in my eyebrows I'm using the Colossal Super Black Liner by Maybelline to tight line my upper lash line. And then I'm going into the CoverGirl Super Sizer Mascara and I'm using this of course on my eyelashes. I love this mascara, it adds a lot of volume and a lot of drama to my eyelashes. And you guys know I'm all about those dramatic lashes. I naturally have very scanty, very thin eyelashes. They're long enough but they have no volume. And this mascara is, is basically like, it pushes my eyelashes up and makes them look really va va boom, you know. I love it of course it's very important to apply some mascara to your lower lash line to your lower lashes as well and using the mascara wand like this avoids mess ups again I'm going into the same highlighter as before the physicians formula shimmer strips in Vegas strip and I'm using this to highlight my inner corner and finally it's time for lipstick this is the Revlon super lustrous lipstick in the shade pink cognito it's a shine formula it's very very neutral very natural and I absolutely love it and you guys this is the finished look I hope you like it and I'll just see you in a second And so you guys, this is the finished look. I don't know why I'm doing it like this. I just frame my face. I don't know. I'm weird today. Anyway, I hope you like this. Um, I love it. It's nice and neutral and matte smoky. And I just, I'm really enjoying wearing this. And I'm almost 100% certain that this is the look I am going to be wearing for Aki this year. But uh, yeah, let's see. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, then please, you know what to do. Give this a thumbs up. It'll make me very, very happy if you do, do this for me. And also subscribe to my channel. Another thing you can do is maybe share it with somebody you think can find this useful. And uh, yeah, I have all of my social media linked in the description box below. So just go check those out. I have my Instagram, Facebook and Twitter linked along with my email ID. So if you guys want to have like a one-on-one -on -one discussion, be friends, be pen pals, I'm totally game for that. So just hit me up on all of those. And yeah, this is all for today and I will see you next time. Bye.